Welcome back. You got Danita Young, your host for the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. And today the title is Stop Focusing on the Number and Start Believing in Yourself Instead. Welcome to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast with me, Danita Young, where my passion is helping women step into their most powerful selves. And I have helped hundreds of thousands of women. And my goal is that I can add some value and contribute into your life today. Always excited to be here and of course giving raw, authentic, true value to help in your mind, your body, and your life transformation. Today I have a very special guest and what's so special about her is I'm actually pulling people out of the booty brigade. It's so cool to see their story in the Facebook group and go, wow, you're doing something amazing. I want to hear about your story so that if somebody can relate to you, they can get massive value on today's podcast. So today's guest is Mary Martinez. Welcome in. Hello. <laughs> she, she's so cute. I was like, what's your title? I'm just a regular average day person. And I was like, you know what? That is so beautiful because we all are that. And, and I love that you were like, you know what? I just want to tap into that authenticity. Mary, uh, she's so cute. She spreads the magic at Disneyland. She's got this beautiful smile. And I uh, just am excited to welcome you in and hear about your story. So Mary, tell us where it all started with the walls that you were hitting, the goals you were trying to achieve, and just the struggle you were having difficulties with? Well, it began back after I had my kids. So my first son I had in 96. And from there, it, it was just, I put on so much weight. And being in a relationship that wasn't so healthy, um, I stayed because I thought I deserved that. Um, just a lot of stuff, uh, negativity. There was a lot of negativity. Um, and when people keep telling you things, you keep believing it. So it took me a very long time to build my self esteem up. And I go up and then go back down and go up. And it's always been a roller coaster for me. Um, when I found your group, it was just amazing because you could post things and you didn't have other women like bagging on you and just, you know, degrading you. It was just so much support and, you know, encouragement. And, you know, nobody was judging that's what I loved about your group. It was just, it was, you could be yourself. You didn't have to be anybody else. Yeah. And before we get into, into the group and all that, so let's go back. How much weight, you said you gained a lot of weight. How much weight are we talking about? I was, so before I got pregnant, I was 120 and then I had gotten up to 172 and a half when I had him. Um, so I gained I was, I was eating for two. <laughs> it wasn't like, I wasn't thinking about the future because, you know, your metabolism is so different back then, you know, and, and as you get older, it just changes. Recently, when we had the pandemic, I was doing good and depression was setting in. So it was a lot. And then holding in things, not being able to like really tell people, you know, because I, I do, I only the true people that really, really know me, even when I'm going through things, I smile and it's, I see things. It's like, okay, like picture perfect. You know, it's, I don't want to sit there and bring anybody else down, um, so it's like I was holding in things a lot. Okay. So what so it so we have the external struggle which is you're wanting to lose weight because you had your children and you you didn't really foresee it coming. And your internal struggle like people were either judging or critiquing you and you were yes. <laughs> taking that in or tell us a little bit more about your depression or internal struggle. So I grew up with five brothers. 
I was the only girl. I was the second youngest. Um, and you know how brothers are. They would always pick on you. And so that was another thing. I had them telling me things. I had my ex-husband telling me things. Um, seeing other people, you know, go through these journeys. And it's like, I want to be like that. I want to be like that. You know, I just, I want to be normal again. I want to be, you know... I want to look like this. I want to do that. I want to. So it was always wanting to do something else. You're almost living that identity that obviously is false, but is there, it was their own insecurities are putting on you, but you started um, taking that internally in, right? Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. So what was the, this reoccurring issue over and over with trying to get to your goal? So I have always, like I said, I've been on a roller coaster when I start doing things, it's like I'm doing really good and I get to a certain point and it's just like, I just had no, like I was focusing on the number, on, on that scale. And it was, so, you know, starting something and I'd be doing great and then nothing moved. And I was like, what is going on here? So I would struggle with that. I would, I'd get so mad at myself and I've tried everything. I would sit there and, you know, the little diet pills, the, you know, just the juicing, the just sometimes not even eating, you know, I wasn't really taking into consideration about what I really needed. Very interesting. Okay, so it sounds like the wall that kept stopping you to really reaching your goals and really getting to the opportunity was the scale. Does that sound correct? Yeah. You'd work really hard. You're trying all these things. You're, you're, I mean, I truly believe that people in, that are trying to lose weight, they're actually really hard workers. This whole theory about they're like lazy absolutely is so yeah. incorrect because when I <laughs> What I find is they're actually really hard workers. They're just uh, miseducated. They're doing it the wrong way. And so what's, what you're saying there is they're focusing on weight loss. Let's, when we'll, we'll, we'll cover that in just a moment. So everyone that's listening, if you're focusing on weight loss and the scale seems to be a common thing, the wall that you keep running into that leads into that failure, then it leads into what next? So, so the scale is telling you you're not successful. And then what happens after that, Mary? you go back into that negativity and start, you know, believing it again. It's like, I did all this work and for what, you know, it wasn't, but I was looking at it the wrong way. I was looking at it the total wrong way. And it's like, it didn't happen overnight. This has been years. So having this pandemic, I actually gained so much weight. Um, I got up to 215. Um, right now I am 169. So I've lost 46 pounds. It is, it does feel good. But my whole thing about that, it, it was just, it wasn't even about the number. It was more of the energy I felt. I was not starving myself. I eat. <laughs> I drink a lot of water. And don't get me wrong, I still have my fun. I have my strawberry shortcake. I have, I treat myself. I drink alcohol. I am not perfect. But it's more of just learning. You know, you had to, you have to change your mindset have to change your mindset and it's with food it's with the weight looking at everything positive um of all the gains that i did you know i gained energy i gained so much strength it wasn't like me waking up and saying oh my god i have to work out i have to work out i wanted to work out i wanted to get up and I felt so much better after doing this and it's, it's just a different feeling. Amazing. What I just heard you say was that you lost 46 pounds. 
but it wasn't really that you lost 46 pounds. You actually got rid of the mindset of losing and you went into the mindset of gaining. What did you gain? You gained energy, you gained strength, you gained a lifestyle and you gained a new feeling. That was, I have cold chills. All of <laughs> and that is literally the answer. If you guys are looking to lose weight, stop thinking about what you want to lose and focusing on what you're gaining. And that is so amazing. So tell us, Mary, how did you go to the different mindset? What was that shift that put you from the losing to the gaining? What made that? You know what, in the beginning of the year, so I joined with your group. I joined the Booty Bands Mastermind. Um, you guys gave me so much resource and a lot of tools where I had to focus on myself, just breaking into that, you know, and digging deep and feeling my feelings. <laughs> so, um, it was just a lot of, you know, I wanted to get off that roller coaster. Like, I'm still not done. I've done a whole bunch of different programs. I'm not done. I'm not finished. Um, I'm not trying to be skinny. I'm not trying to be anybody else. I am on my own journey. And I'm not comparing myself to anybody else but me. I want to be a healthier version. I want to be this amazing grandma, you know, and be able to do all these things with my grandchildren. And that's like my biggest goal right now. It's not even like, oh, I want to get to this weight. I want to be, you know, it's not even about that. It's And you found it. You found it. <laughs> to get you there. I love it. And, and really, it sounds like a, a, a goal shifted for you where before you had a goal that maybe was um, to impress someone or to fit into that dress or maybe there was an event, right? So it was more short-lived. It felt like maybe your goal was just to kind of just get around the corner. But now your goal is thinking about the end of your life. You're yes. thinking about how can I really look and feel my best and have all this amazing energy when I'm running around and being a grandma. So the, the, the difference there, am I right there? Yes. Okay. So very interesting concept we're picking up here. Okay. Let's, let's recap. Cause I like recapping here. <laughs> so one, we found out that it was letting go of the number on the scale. Cause that was the wall that you kept hitting. Number two was letting go of the thing of what you're losing. And the, the number is whatever. It's great. It's great to celebrate 46, but really the celebration is turned into what you're gaining, which is the energy, the strength, the lifestyle, the feeling. And then lastly, what we just found out was the goal. The goal before was, uh, tell us what the goal was before. What was your short goal before? So before it was just, I wanted to be a certain weight. I was always focused on a number. So yeah. if I get there, what's going to happen? Yeah. Okay, I'm there. You know, now what? And, and I'm going to tell you a secret here. Most girls get there. And what happens is they get there and they go, I lost my butt. I lost my boobs. My skin is all saggy. And they completely just focused on weight loss instead of fat loss. And they, what they're doing is they're losing the water, the fat, and the muscle. And yeah. they're losing the muscle, they're losing metabolism and curves, right? Therefore, making the weight loss even harder and harder and harder as they get older. But what's awesome is you learned that concept and you said, no, I'm going to gain strength. I'm going to gain energy. I'm going to have this new lifestyle. I'm going to have, go into the feeling of having energy. You're saying, I'm eating. I'm no longer yeah. starving. I'm eating. And that <laughs> is the key ticket here because when you are thinking of the weight loss, getting to a certain number on the pounds, you lose sight of what you really look like in a bikini. So I love the difference that you did a big shift. So your short term goal before was I just want to hit a number, but now you're like, I want to be the best version of me. Yes. I'm feeling amazing. And by the end of it, you're going to go, how did I get here? I'm <laughs> And your confidence exudes in all your before and after pictures, your progress, your story, all your posts that you're doing in the group. It is so confident. And that to me is the most sexy, stunning thing a woman can ever wear. <laughs> is that smile, is that confident when she walks into the room? You can see the shine. <laughs> 
And that's why I wanted to bring you on today because I wanted to really bring this message to those that may have been in the shoes before, Mary, where you were hitting that wall. And there's a lot of people in this world that are still trying to lose weight. They're still weighing themselves every day. They're still trying every single program and they're trying to take the pills and they're trying to do the shots and they're trying to starve themselves. They're still doing that. And that is why I've dedicated my entire life to make sure that women can stop that. Because when I found the way and when you found the way, don't you just want to scream to the world by saying, yes. stop. Can I tell you something? So when people tell me, oh, you're on a diet, I'm like, no, 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 no. I am not on a diet because <laughs> I eat. <laughs> I do not starve myself. It's just a you know, healthier lifestyle. I know when my body's craving the vegetables, I get more satisfaction out of that. I feel more full. Knowing what to fuel your body with, that's the main thing. Don't look at it, oh my God, I cheated, you know, I failed, I had a chocolate cake. Oh, oh, I'll start again tomorrow. It's not even about that. Enjoy that chocolate cake because, you know, that chocolate cake is not going to sit there and put 20 pounds on you again you know it's chocolate cake i know where you're going it's not the chocolate cake it's the downward negativity spiral after the chocolate cake yes it's the self-sabotage that we do the punishment that we do to ourselves after we eat the chocolate cake that is the problem not the chocolate cake i have chocolate cake too <laughs> so, so i love that i love that you just said that if you could tell anybody that is hitting that wall of weight loss and they're struggling and they just feel like everything that you said, they're kind of just not really there yet. They're just like, I don't know if I can believe her. Is she really real? Is, can this really happen? I hear it all the time. Yeah, eat more. That just makes me feel like I'm gonna gain more. How is that true that she's not starving yourself? Can you tell that woman right now that's listening if she's still struggling with this idea of weight loss? believing in yourself it comes from within it's not about what anybody else we have to stop comparing ourselves with everybody else just taking that step to first start because I was there you know I was just like I'm doing this again and it was more of figuring out I need to believe in myself I know I can do this positive affirmations I do daily, daily. I am a work in progress. And even if it feels hard or scary or just feeling uncomfortable is growth. <laughs> feeling uncomfortable is growth. And we're just going to open up that Mary was actually really uncomfortable on today's show. But you know what? She showed up. She showed up and I'm so proud of you because this is going to take a lot for you to step into that uncomfort and you're coming full circle now as you're coming around and seeing that now you want <laughs> other people to step outside their comfort zone. Look at this. Love it. Absolutely hope that somebody that's listening on this today forgets the scale, drops the weight loss mentality and really goes into the gaining mentality just by this beautiful story. If they can do that, I know that you've changed a life today. So thank you so much Mary, for jumping on. You've been such a great inspiration for the group. Please continue to keep posting your progress. If somebody wants to follow Mary's story, Mary, how can they follow you? Like what's your Instagram handle or wherever you think that would be a good place. To so it's Mary Martinez X2. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and paste the, uh, the actual link down in the description so that they can actually easily just follow. So you guys can follow Mary on TikTok and on Instagram to see her amazing story. And going back to just the regular average person, <laughs> absolutely is not your regular average person. You're going to see that Mary has such an amazing, beautiful smile. She's inspiring women all around her every time she posts. She is such a light into our Facebook group, and she's not regular by any means. She is such <laughs> an amazing inspiration. So thank you again for joining me today. And excited to see where your journey continues to keep leading you because I know, girl, I know <laughs> you're on the right path. And I'm excited for you to run around with your kids when you're older in age and you're just feeling energetic and you're feeling the life really come about you. I can already see that now. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. 
Awesome, wrapping up, we hope that this left you with some valuable information that you can help with improving your mind, your body, and your life. Really, we're about helping you step into your best self, and that's why we do these weekly, so that we can hear from you and how it resonated. So go ahead and write us a review, and we will pick weekly giveaways on our unique booty bands to give away. So thank you guys so much for listening. It was awesome having you on. I'm very excited to leave your review. Make sure to hit subscribe so that you can get notified on any future podcasts that come out. And of course, join the community and join the app called Booty Bands and Barbells, where you'll find us in the workouts, the meal plan, and of course, all the fun challenges. I'll see you soon, and I'll see you in the workouts.